Hi, I'm going to go ahead and read Ether 6. It's got 30 verses, though. The last chapter only had six verses. <laughs> but we'll see what happens, because they're fixing to take off on those barges, I guess. Here's a synopsis. The Jaredite barges are driven by the winds to the promised land. The, the people praise the Lord for his goodness. Oreha is appointed king over them. Jared and his brother die. Goodness. All right. They're going to cover some ground, I guess. And now I, Moroni, proceed to give the record of Jared and his brother. For it came to pass after the Lord had prepared the stones which the brother of Jared had carried up into the mount. The brother of Jared came down out of the mount, and he did put forth the stones into the vessels, which were prepared, one in each end thereof. And behold, they did give light unto the vessels. Come on, you. And thus the Lord caused stones to shine in darkness to give light unto men, women, and children that they might not cross the great waters in darkness. And it came to pass that when they had prepared all manner of food, that thereby they might subsist upon the water and also food for their flocks and herds and whatsoever beasts or animals or fowl that they should carry with them. And it came to pass that when they had done all these things, they got aboard of their vessels and barges hmm, and set forth into the sea, commending themselves unto the Lord their God. And it came to pass that the Lord God caused that there should be a furious wind blow upon the face of the waters towards the promised land. And thus they were tossed upon the, wa upon the waves of the sea before the wind. And it came to pass that they were many times buried in the depths of the sea because of the mountain yeah, that's what it says, because of the mountain waves which broke upon them, and also the great and terrible tempest which were caused by the fierceness of the wind. Tempest being tossed, I bet you. I'm thinking of a song, <laughs> a church song. <clears throat> okay, this is verse 7. And it came to pass that when they were buried in the deep, there was no water that could hurt them, their vessels being tight like unto a dish, and also they were tight like unto the ark of Noah. Therefore, when there were encompassed, when they were encompassed about by many waters, they did cry unto the Lord and he did bring them forth again upon the top of the waters. And it came to pass that the wind did never cease to blow towards the promised land while they were upon the waters. And thus they were driven forth before the wind. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. <coughs> and they did sing praises unto the Lord. Yea, the brother of Jared did sing praises unto the Lord and he did thank and praise the Lord all the day long. And when the night came, they did not cease to praise the Lord. And thus they were driven forth, and no monster of the sea could break them, neither whale that could mar them. And they did have light continually, whether it was above the water or under the water. And thus they were driven forth 340 and four days, wow, upon the water. 
You know, I'm just thinking about them being tossed and stuff. <laughs> Hopefully they didn't feel it like that. I mean, you want to talk about seasick. Gee whittlers. I'm just picturing them being tossed and torn, you know, and stuff not torn. Okay. Whether it was above the water or under the water, that's where the light was. And I'm going to, I read this one, I'm sure, yeah. Because, wow, it's a long time. <clears throat> 340 and four days upon the water. And they did land upon the shore of the promised land. And when they had set their feet upon the shores of the promised land, they bowed themselves down upon the face of the land and did humble themselves before the Lord and did shed tears of joy before the Lord because of the multitude of his tender mercies over them. And it came to pass that they went forth upon the face of the land and began to till the earth. And Jared had four sons, and they were called Jacob, as J A C O M, and Gilga, G I L G A H, and Maha, M A H A H, and Oraha, O R I H A H. Because I can't pronounce it very well. That way, you know, if you catch it, you can see it. And the brother of Jared also begat sons and daughters. When the friends of Jared and his brother were in number about 20 and two souls, and they also begat sons and daughters before they came to the promised land, and therefore they began to be many. And they were taught excuse me, and they were taught to walk humbly before the Lord, and they were also taught from on high. And it came to pass that they began to spread upon the face of the land and to multiply and to till the earth, and they did wax strong in the land. And the brother of Jared began to be old and saw that he must soon go down to the grave Wherefore he said unto Jared, Let us gather together our people, that we may number them, that we may know of them what they will desire of us before we go down to our graves. And accordingly the people were gathered together. Now the number of the sons and the daughters, and let's see, now the number of the sons and the daughters of the brother of Jared were twenty and two souls. And the number of sons and daughters of Jared were twelve, he having four sons. I'm on verse 21. And it came to pass that they did number their people, and after that, they had numbered them, they did desire of them the things which they would that they should do before they went down into their graves. And I still did that wrong, down to their graves. And it came to pass that the people desired of them that they should anoint one of their sons to be a king over them. And now behold, this was grievous unto them, and the brother of Jared said unto them, Surely this, this thing leadeth into captivity. But Jared said unto his brother, Suffer them that they may have a king. And therefore he said unto them, Choose ye out from among our sons a king, even whom ye will. And it came to pass that they chose even the firstborn of the brother of Jared. And his name was P-A-G-A-G. -A Pagog? Pagog? I really don't know. P-A-G-A. -A. Strange. <clears throat> and it came to pass that he refused and would not be their king. And the people would that his father should constrain him, but his father would not. 
And he commanded them that they should constrain no man to be their king. And it came to pass that they chose all the brothers of Pagog, and they would not. So this is all the sons of the brother of Jared, and he was the one that was really righteous. Or he was the one that was doing all the praying anyway. I don't know. I really don't know. Jared went to his brother, <laughs> the brother of Jared, to do the praying. Okay, let's see. Pagog. That's a weird name. And it came, I'm, I probably read this, but I'm going to do it again. And it came to pass that they chose all the brothers of Pagog, and they would not. And it came to pass that neither would the sons of Jared, even all, save it were one. And Oreha was anointed to be king over the people. And he began to reign. And the people began to prosper, and they began ex they became exceedingly rich. And it came to pass that Jared died, and his brother also. And it came to pass that Oraha did walk humbly before the Lord, and did remember how great things the Lord had done for his father, and also taught his people how great things the Lord had done for their fathers. Okay, that's the end of that. Pretty good. So right now they're being righteous. That's cool. I was afraid they were going to say the turn right away, you know. Because it, it's, it repeats itself all through the scriptures how they'll be good for so many years and then something happens. <laughs> they're just not good anymore. Maybe it's a fight with a sibling they can't get over. And then they divide up into arms, and then they're stupid, and they kill each other and stuff like that, you know, because that happened. One of these days, but not on this, not in this time frame on this earth, but, you know, like in the millennium, the thousand years will Jesus, the thousand years where Jesus will reign on the earth, he will be here. And, and and peace is the deal. The lion and the lamb will lay down together. I mean, the, these carnivores will become grass eaters. The, the food chain, I don't know about the food for us, but anyway, that's another story. <laughs> I have a hard time with meat. I mean, I like to, I like meat, but I don't want to deal with the dead raw stuff there. I have a really hard time with that cooking meat. Yes, I do love pork, and I do love a good roast, a tender roast. Yeah. And I love chicken. But I don't want to think about how it came to be on my plate. You go out on the farm, see a lot of things you don't like. Anyway, that was just a little tidbit on the side. <laughs> oh, me. So, I don't hardly remember what I read, except for they, okay, yes, they landed. Was that what happened in the very beginning? And now I'm around, da, da, da. They made the stones, yeah, they hadn't even left yet in the beginning of this chapter. The stones were being put into the vessels and then they gathered everything up and their food, their people, their flocks. Can you imagine that many days on the water? And how do you take care of, you know, the natural things of life that happen. Everybody on that vessel is going to need to go potty. They need to eat. They need to go potty and then it's going to be yuck. <laughs> That's a long time. There had to be a way to remove that. Leave it to me to think about that. Anyway, guys, I don't mean to taint uh, Ether 6. I'm sorry. I like how they left. They were humble. They were appreciative of their blessings. They knew. They left the Tower of Babel place where nobody could talk to each other. And they were spared from that. And then they 
I don't know how long they were out in the wilderness because I thought it said something about four years and then they they pitched their tents for four years and then they did they build barges twice I'm gonna have to go over and read my stuff again you know because it sounded like they built barges and went through the first waters and then when they got to that place, they built bigger barges or something. Strange. Okay. You guys, take care. Once you realize I'm babbling on, if you share this with somebody, just get rid of that babble. <laughs> Actually, don't do that. Anyway, thank you. I'll be reading some more. <laughs>